So, Dr. Christensen will finish up with the low pitches now. As before, raise your right hand if you hear a sound. If you don't, it's okay. This is to help us diagnose what's wrong with the cochlear implant. Margo? Do you need a break? Is everything all right? Mm. She doesn't like tests. It's the device we're testing, not you. And if it makes you feel better, I will give you an A+. Hmm? <laughs> Tori and I'll be just outside the door. Okay. Okay, let's start. So, it's been nine months. We're still having problems. It's almost impossible to predict the rehabilitation period after the cochlear implant. I mean, we weren't expecting her to talk on the phone, but... She can't even take the subway without getting dizzy. She seems confused and sad. I know how it feels to see her loved ones in pain. But once we diagnose the issue with the device, we can fix it. Is everything okay? The implant seems to be functional. Basal electrode responses? All normal. So if it's not the device, then what's the matter? I believe there may be issues that aren't related to your cochlear implant. This is my colleague, Dr. Prohm. Let's talk. Dr. Kapoor thought that it would be beneficial if we sit down and talk about what's happening during the rehab process. And that's sort of my, my job around here, is to create an environment uh, or a space to explore what's happening to you emotionally, both of you. The interpreter will be here very soon, I assure you. I'm, uh, I'm very sorry about the delay. Should be any moment now. Oh, okay, we're just diving right in. Um... Angry. I, ah! Uh... Okay, can we just, guys, can we slow down just a touch? Um, just, I'm getting some of it. It's just a, it's a little too fast. I have never said you were a burden. Okay, time out, time, time out. Um, take a breath, okay? I need to catch up here, but I'm assuming, um, Tori, Margot said that she feels like a burden. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, is that, is that how you feel about her? No, I have never thought of her that way. All right, so why don't you tell her how you do feel about her? Margot has just always had the spirit in her that had to experience the world on her own terms. Margot bungee jumped off the Manhattan Bridge at 3 a.m. when we were in college. Are you kidding? Wow. <laughs> All right. I think that she's fearless. So tell her. I feel so far away from that person right now. I know I pushed us here because I wanted the implant. And you supported me through all of it with the money and the surgeries. Because I wanted it. And now I'm afraid that I've risked the most important relationship of my life because of them. Why do you want the implant? So I can hear. Well, okay, that's what the implant does. Why do you want the implant? I 
I want it. I respect your wishes, of course. And I'm aware that this is a debate in the deaf community, but removing an implant is, is a very risky surgery. I just want the pain to stop. I, I want that too. And, and there are different types of implants we can use before we... Not that kind of pain. The migraines, the dizziness, the strange tones, I expected that. My friends told me that would come. But they all love their implants. But I don't. I miss who I was. How I experienced the world. I don't expect you to understand, but before the implant, music It was something I felt. And now, it's just weird words with weird textures. My thoughts used to be my own. And now they're just cluttered with distractions. I thought I was missing something. But really, I'm missing what I had. I loved hearing Tori's voice. But I heard you better when I couldn't hear your voice at all. 